This, oh my word, this is clear everywhere. If it's comfort you seek and anti-fogging of your lenses, stick around and watch this video. Hey everybody, this is the Review Dad. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Now, as you can see, I'm unboxing a really cool pack of facial interface plates from Kiwi Design. Now this comes with a spacer, so if you've got glasses, you've got a lens cleaner and a cover, and you've got three inserts that go into the facial interface plate, which also has air vents on it. So I will walk you through what is in the box and show you everything now and how to fit them. And then later on, I will also use the headset as well, so you can see how it all works and uh, it's pretty cool, so stick around. So zooming straight into the plate itself, you can see there's a bit of a rough piece there which is sort of like Velcro and that then sticks onto these little inserts. Now when you put these inserts on, the best way to do it is fold them in half like I'm doing now and then you place it right in the middle of the plate at the top and then you can do the same at the bottom and then as you place it in, you can slowly apply some pressure and it will slowly start sticking on this Velcro piece that's on the plate. Now the bottom side is a little bit tougher because there's obviously that bend for the nose but uh, a little fiddling around and you can get it right as you can see over here where, where I'm fitting it now. But it's easy to insert and it stays in place and it's also easy to remove. So when you want to swap them out and you want to give the cloth one more of a dry, if you do sweat quite a lot, then that you can remove and switch it out with another one and start playing. So you can see the assembly is really easy. It's very, very easy and it fits so nicely. And you can see how soft these uh, little sponge pieces are. It's uh, sort of like memory foam. It's really cool. You can see the air vents around the edges. So that helps with airflow. And also the lenses don't fog up, which I was really impressed with. Now, another thing which I wanted to show you is the little spacer that they give you, which clips into place. There's three little nodules that stick out, which slide into place. And then around by the nose area, you'll see I show you there's little inserts that click into place, which fits perfectly. Now, this is used if you want to wear your glasses while playing. Now, I've never tried that because my glasses couldn't fit into the standard faceplate that comes with the Oculus. But this one, I was actually quite surprised that I could fit my glasses in and uh, it worked really well. And wow, it is so clear. So keep watching and you'll see that footage later on that I talk about how it all works. So over here, you can see how it all clicks into place. It fits very well. Everything just fits perfectly and uh, it just looks really good as well when it's all put into place and it's all connected up. So yeah, just run your fingers around, make sure everything's all clicked in. You'll hear little clicks as all the plastic goes in and to remove them as well, it's really easy to remove these inserts and the space there. So if you don't wanna do the glasses anymore, if someone else wants to use them and they don't use glasses, that's also pretty easy to remove. So uh, with regards to usage and all of that, it's a very simple. Kiwi Design have done very well and they have designed a very good product here. You know, really easy to assemble, really easy to take apart, and it's extremely comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable this is. Uh, when I played some games, the headset felt weightless on my head uh, and for long periods of time as well. So over here, I'm fitting the more leathery type strap. You get two of these. Uh, not strap the little sponge uh, facial uh, cushioning that we've got here and uh, you get two of those in the pack and the other one is more of a cloth type which absorbs more of the sweat now as you see there I'm showing a gap in the side of the plate and the insert that we're putting in now that gap is there because there isn't any of that velcro uh, adhesive that's on the side but that doesn't matter because it does fit into place and it does hold it and it works perfectly fine now comparing the oculus facial interface and the kiwi design you can see the difference here you can see how much wider the one on the right is which is the kiwi design and it's also got that little piece of flap at the bottom by the nose which also blocks out more light so the visual effects inside are much clearer as well so you don't have light uh, peeking in all over the place like the older one and the oculus one also got the silicone insert so you can see on the left it's that shiny silicone insert which does get very slippery and wet when you are sweating and uh, the air vents also help with that from the kiwi design one on the right now fitting it to the oculus you can see it's really simple you just line everything up and everything clicks into place you'll hear it and you can see it over here how it clicks into place and it all fits perfectly well and once it's all on it actually looks pretty mean it looks cool 
and uh, the air vents work really well that creates some nice airflow so the lenses don't fog up now whenever i put the oculus on i always have uh, the fogging up of the lenses which annoys me a bit so you've got to wait a bit of time for the temperatures to regulate but with this it's actually pretty impressive and i've got that uh, piece of video coming up which explains how all of it works and what it looks like now i've got everything set up i'm gonna use it and show you how it all works now the other thing which i want to show you which is coming up soon is the little insert that they give you which is a lens cover so when you're moving the lenses in and out for if your eyes are or for kids if they're closer together or further apart for adults you obviously touch them the lenses and smudge them in that now this insert will protect your lenses so you can use it to clean the lenses as well as leave it in the oculus as you can see over here so when you're storing it away nothing can bump the lenses and scratch them or anything like that so that's a pretty cool thing that kiwi design have done once again so let's look and see how all of this works okay so i'm going to be putting on the headset for you guys uh, so you can see that's the new one so the kiwi design headset as you can see there the new sponge piece that i got for the face plate with the air vents so that's there and then this is also a kiwi design head bracket with the hinge system so i've got another video of that if you want to check it out it's pretty cool so you'll see how it can uh, replace uh, the normal head straps and that so you can fit them on so here we go so we put that on oh wow that's really comfy and there's no light that nose flap thing this piece here actually blocks some of the light that comes through from underneath by the nose piece on the normal normal face plate so there's if I look down, there's a slight bit of light coming in just over here, and that's it. But other than that, it's, it's really comfy. So let me let me get this on and see what it looks like or feels like. That, that's, yeah, that's really comfortable. So I don't know what it looks like to you guys. If I move around, you can see how it fits on. It's really soft. The sponge they have is really soft, it's like this on the head strap. And it doesn't actually feel that heavy. Now I don't know if it's the combination of this strap as well, but it actually feels really good. So let me, let me boot up the Oculus Quest and uh, see, let me just adjust when the image comes up. So there we go, I've got the Meta Signal logo coming up. So what I'll do is I'll wait for that to come up and then see, how it looks now this is really comfortable okay so it's come on so it's asking for the guardian zone so I'll just confirm that and yeah I'm in and the I know the lenses you need to because they pancake lenses you have to get them pretty much right in line with your eyes in order for it to be clear and having that spacer in here, which I want to try now with my glasses, see what that looks like. But the there is a slight blur when you move it slightly up and down as you move off the center. But I think that's because of the spacer. So you're further away from the lenses because they try and get you as close to the lens as possible for a clear picture. But looking around into these virtual rooms, everything is pretty clear straight ahead. The controllers here. So that's nice and clear. You can see my fingers moving. This is really clear, really comfortable. It's not steaming up. Usually it steams up for me by now because um, I'm quite a, a warm person. I always wear shorts and t-shirt. And um, this isn't steaming up at all yet, which is quite surprising. Wow, that's pretty cool. So those air vents are doing the job. So I don't know, that's there. Oop, and that's there so yeah this is this is good so I'm gonna get my glasses on and uh, we'll fit the headset again but um, yeah that's that's really comfortable really comfortable I like it okay well let me do that let me get my glasses and I'll see you back here for for the next part okay so I'm back with my glasses now these are mine now with regards to the size of these that fit on they say there's a certain width of glasses 
that it can actually take. Now, my glasses are pretty wide because I have a big head, but um, yeah, I wanna see, because looking at it now, if I just take them as they are, the width of these doesn't look like it might pass the cushioning. If I can try and get it on both cameras here for you. So you can see, well actually, yeah, once it passes the cushioning right here, then it's actually fine. You can see how it, it maneuvers in there. Once it's in, the spacing's fine. So, let me get these on, put on the headset, and let's see what happens. So, okay, that's good. Oh, wow. Okay, the Oculus has obviously picked up that I'm active again, and it's come on, and I did not expect <laughs> this. Oh my word, this is clear everywhere. Because I, I couldn't put my glasses on with the other one. No, oh, wow, this is this is amazing, guys. This is... Where before you sort of had to get it exactly on, you still got to do that, but it just seems like, you know, when you look off center, when you look up and down, things are usually blurry, but with my glasses on, this is, this is so clear. And I actually don't realize I'm wearing the glasses. There's nothing pressing on me. This I don't feel because I think the sponges are so soft here that it doesn't actually push against your skin. And also the nose, the plastic that presses there, it's not pressing the glasses on my nose. There's nothing for, so it actually feels like I don't have any glasses on. It's just really clear. Wow. This is, this is good. So I'm very impressed. This is so comfortable. Wow. Okay. So let me take that off so you can see how this headset lifts up with that hinge system. So yeah, that's uh, so you can see I can do that and still see things around here if you need to or if you want to you can actually lift it that way to get it off either way but um, I'm very impressed with this wow this is this is some good stuff if you guys want a comfortable faceplate for your oculus or your oculus 2 quest that you've got um, Kiwi designs you've done a good job here I'm, I'm very impressed with this this is so comfortable this I thought was really comfortable and now coupled with this as well from them. So both of them together work really well in tandem. And um, yeah, there's the other one, which is more of the softer sponge. It's not a sh it's like a shiny leather like this one. So you can see there. Now, that's the other one that you can also put on, which is a bit firmer. But this is very impressive. Wow, okay. Let me replace that one and let's see uh, how comfortable this one is as well with some with my glasses on. So what I'll do is take that one off and I'm taking this more cloth based one and like they say, fold it in half which is easier to, to get it set up and placed onto the oculus itself. So I'll do that, I'll do the nose piece first. And spread it out, get it on there, there we go, easy, very easy, quick and easy, there, now the new one's on, as you can see, it doesn't have that shiny piece, okay, so let's put this one on and see, with glasses, straight in, it's actually not scraping like the other one, and yeah, this one's not as cold to the touch because obviously it's not that shiny, leathery feel. But this is more of the cloth, more of the sporty stuff. Again, very clear, very comfortable. Not pressing on my glasses at all. Nothing here. Very comfortable. Yes. And no steaming up. Usually it starts steaming up now. If I... Okay, that's steaming up, so I want to see how quickly it dissipates with these vents. Okay, it's going away. Going away. And it's gone. Nice and clear again. 
Wow, these air vents are pretty cool. So, I'm gonna do a bit of gaming on this and then see how well the steaming up works. That's pretty good, it's cleared that, that breath away from the steam. That's, wow, okay. Cool, well, let's, uh, let me do some gaming, try and get sweating, and see how this air vent and uh, all of this works. So, cool, I'll see you in the next uh, part of the video. Hey guys, okay, so I have been playing some of the games um, on the Oculus, uh, probably about three hours. I played some table tennis and that got me sweating quite a bit. So obviously around this area where the uh, cushioning fits you like so, um, I was sweating. So this is the one uh, padding, which is more shiny, as you can see over here. So this one did have a bit of sweat on it when I was finished. And then you just use the cloth that they give you. You know, I gave it a wipe down and it actually looks okay. It sort of left a bit of a residue, but that's obviously from sweat, you know, being salty and all that kind of stuff. But it was fine. You give it a wipe down, you can wipe it with a wet cloth and then wipe it with this cloth that they give you. So um, it keeps it nice and clean. But yeah, it still looks pretty good. And then I also played with the other one that they give you or that comes in the pack, which is more of a cloth version. So if I show you there, you can see it's not as shiny as this one. And this one absorbs the sweat more, so you don't actually see it sitting here, but it is, you can feel it is a bit wet when playing. So uh, just allow that one to dry. So obviously take that off, as I show you earlier on in the video, um, and allow that to dry, and then it's okay to play again. And uh, yeah, overall they were really comfortable. Um, the headset didn't feel heavy or leave any marks um, around my head, you know, being too tight or anything like that. Um, really comfortable, really pleased with the result, and uh, I do enjoy playing the games now because uh, you just seem to carry on going because it doesn't hurt your head. And I do like this little piece that they did include as well over here. It is part of the video earlier on, which is sort of the lens cover, so you can see that comes off over there and uh, that fits inside quite nicely and protects the lenses for your oculus so they are okay and there's the clamp down system so i've got a video on that as well if you want to have a look guys um, but that is uh, my unboxing and review of these uh, facial interfaces from kiwi design i'm very impressed if you guys are looking for comfort and uh, you want to play longer and you want quality product this is the one to get so thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys for another review cheers